Another great feature is the ability to open up multiple projects in tabs. Now, in previous versions of Anime Studio, you could only have one project file open at a time, unless if you had another copy of Anime Studio open to have a second project file open, and in many cases, it didn't work out all that well. It was kind of hard to use. But now, that has all changed with the introduction of tabs. So in order to create a tab, all you have to do is make a new document or open up an existing document while having a document open. So we could, for instance, go to File and Open. And note I currently have a document open for this. And I could just come in here and locate then a file that we could use. And there you go. You can see now we have a file open. And if you look at the top, we have two files open, indicated by the tabs. So if I click on the Old People Walkers project file, you can see it jumps me back to that project. If I go to the Agents one, you can see I'm right there. Very easy to pop back and forth between project files. The same goes for if you make a new project file. As you can see, we have a new tab. And we can just keep making new tabs or opening up tabs as many as we want. You can see they just keep opening and opening and opening and you can jump back and forth between any tab you have on your project file. Now, if you want to close tabs, simply put your cursor over the tab and an X will appear. Click that X and it will remove the tab then from your lineup. If you made changes to the project file in that tab, it will ask you if you want to save them before closing out, just like it would in the previous versions when you would close out of an individual project file. So now, another benefit, let's say for instance we, let me uh, open up another project file here. Let's say, for instance, we're working on something and we want to bring an asset into another document. Let's say we want to bring this background into our Old People Walkers document. Well, I could come down here to the background vector layer, take the transform points tool and click, and then I could copy with command C or control C if you're on a PC, come over here to that new document, make a new vector layer, place that vector layer on the bottom, and then Command V or Control V, and you can see now that that background object has been pasted into this current tab. And you could go in and you know alter the size if you wish, and just kind of get it set up to how you want it. So that is, of course, another benefit for this, being able to share information between different project files while you are working. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.